Hey guys, me again. Uh, yeah. Use my, I'm not using my phone camera anymore because, uh, yeah, don't really want to use my phone because it broke last time. <laughs> so I'm going to try and use that. That's quality. That, that's quality. Right, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. But I can get some of the collections that I'm getting to, like, lose in a while. My uh, nephew is making me laugh. Because he's sat right next to me. And he's laughing, he's let off. Right. If I miss any games out, which I'm certain Super Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. 2 on the 3DS was the game I showed last time. Off. Get off. Yes. Right, put that back, please. <laughs> Stop getting in my way. Professional, man. Professional. <laughs> right, anyway. I completely forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, let me just get a little bit. Games I've got recently. Three Wii... Oh, my has been picked Three Wii games. Yes, I've got a big beard. Right. Uh, right, anyway. <laughs> Shut up. Right, anyway. Three Wii games that I've got. they were about three, four... Yeah, three quid because I paid nine quid to all. Three quid each. Right, so first is House of Dead, two and f oh, wow, awesome colour. Two and three, which for three quid, awesome. It's complete in, in box. I don't like all the stuff. But yeah, two and three, three quid, bargain. Cost that ranges from like a tenner. Um, House of the Dead Overkill for three pound. Been meaning to get this. That is cheap as well. Really cheap. Considering that's also about what fifteen quid, possibly. Um, and another game that I've been meaning to get, which is supposed to be a rehash or remake of the first game, which is Sand Hill Shattered Memories of Heard. It's supposed to be a reimagining or something like that. Of the first game, right. The smaller of the collection. <laughs> Finally got Final Fantasy VI. Not sure if I've seen showed this in the last video, but thought I'd show it again just in case. But yeah, got it with. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I got it with. Oh, obviously, it's C I uh, B with also with the manual and that little leaflet right there. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> been trying to get this for a while and it, it is quite expensive best on eBay. Ever. Yep, best video ever. <laughs> 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 but it has a crack in it so I could have probably got it. You should have knocked it a few quid off but whatever. I'm trying to get all the Final Fantasies so I'm not going to like one. Yeah. Um, got this as well, Final Fantasy Origins, which is quite hard to get. Well, easy if you go online, but <laughs> like if you're hunting in the wild, then yeah, it's kind of hard to get. And I think, I think this originally came with our cards. I can't quite remember, but I only got the two discs of manual and nearly nothing there, uh, which is quite awesome. But you know, whatever. And it has like a crack there as well, so kind of an iron, but what can you do? <laughs> Next is a DS game, and I've never actually played it before. I've been wanting to play it, but the hard, the hard there. The first one's hard to get hold of, so I could only get the second one. So I probably won't delve into this until I finally get my hands on the first one. And it's uh, Devil Survivor 2, Shin Megami Tensei. Um, yeah. <laughs> but that was £20 and it's the American version because it has the 
bit of age rate that stick up there, but it's actually American. Plus, it's just American here, it's RB underneath, and it's a black slim case. Right. Xbox games. Shadow of the Damned. Looks kind of like paint colour, so I picked it up, and a lot of people actually, you know, say this is a really good game. So, yeah. Well, kind of something that I don't really do, but at least it's like people that I actually generally know that said it's good, and plus it looks actually a lot like paint colour. So, which should be awesome, but the only thing is, yeah. But they already published it, so that's okay. And next up is EDF, which I play with. Uh, wow. We used to stop doing stupid phrases. College balls and Leo. So, yeah, I couldn't say because you're like. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, <laughs> we play with uh, Liam Donovan and Comatos, which. Joseph. Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting his name, sorry, sorry. But uh, yeah, we've had a few games of this. Need to play more, need to start playing it more. And yeah, it's a really good game. Yeah, well, like, will you stop it? <laughs> <laughs> just, just saying. But yeah, um, basically, if you can play this game, you just like third person action shooter fighting giant bugs and weird. I, I like to say alienish kind of things, but <laughs> yeah, but it's quite awesome. Then, one and only new game by. Crapcom, as people call it, but you know I still like Crapcom. It's just to me, it's the fight. I have to fight games of what they did with Mega Man that makes them bad, and a lot of the DLC, what is disc locked content. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Dragon's Dogma. I have actually played this a bit, and I actually I thought it was quite good. Not gonna say it's amazing because I haven't played that much of it, but by the time I really enjoyed it off. By the time I really enjoyed it. You just have to the phone! Oh, it's just <laughs> being asleep. And uh, yeah. It's quite enjoyable, I need to put my hours into it, but. With all these games, do you blame me? <laughs> Next up is Child of Eden. I actually got this for, I think it was £5, which, believe it or not, which is quite surprising. Oh, which this has actually dropped, and it was. I think it was actually brand new as well. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to say I haven't played it. I've only seen pictures and videos of it. I've seen quite a few people play it on live streams and stuff, and it looked, it looked quite cool. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a semi sequel or something like that to Res, which was on the PS2, so you should enjoy it. It's quite good. And a game that I was supposed to get on release, I was supposed to get a deluxe edition, but I didn't get it. Didn't have the money. Well, I had money, I just needed to spend it on, you know, something else. <laughs> and. And. <laughs> finally, finally got it for a cheap price, and it's Catherine. And I was supposed to start this game when I got it, and I just haven't. So, <laughs> another game that I need to delve into. But I've, I have heard really awesome things about it. Next is a game that I've been anticipating for ages since it was first announced. Since all the videos. Yes, the hype has been absolutely extreme. Has it been worth it? Yes, it has. Have I finished it? Come on, yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> and it is the one and only Borderlands 2. And, <laughs> and uh, it our version comes with like a slave what's in boss and stuff. But then you obviously got the normal game here. I've also bought the premium not the premium, what is it? The season the season pass yeah. for all the DLC. Because I'm a massive Borderlands one fan. I've finished all on my first account and 
big multiple player throughs. I when when my account knocked up, I made a new account and that was one of the first games I delved straight into again. Played multiple times on that. I still need to hundred percent the DLC. Like Mad Moxie. Which is very time consuming. But yeah. Borderlands 2, epic game, can't wait for the DLC, can't wait for the Mechamancer class because I'm going to make a new playthrough just for the Mechamancer class. I'm not going to record it, obviously I don't have the stuff to record from my 360 unless I use my camera, which would just be awkward because I don't have a tripod. <laughs> but yeah, really awesome, awesome game. Now, the next game I'm going to show you, basically... Didn't actually read to buy. Didn't, <laughs> didn't actually read to buy it. Basically, I was on the website and I wanted to check this particular game out. Internet cut off with it being on Virgin Media, which sucks, by the way. Well, when it works, it's awesome. When it cuts off, it's just crap because it just yeah. Anyway, this game. What happened is I clicked on it to check it out, internet cut off, clicked back on, well, the internet came back on, it said confirm purchase, blah blah blah. I was like, oh my god, straight away to the order section, try to cancel my order, it was a five minute dispatch. So it was dispatched. So basically, £26 on a game that I didn't particularly want at the time but I do like the games of the series yes you can get them for free on Android before people start going oh my god and yeah the cheap on i phone and iPods <laughs> um, <laughs> PC you know they're pretty much same price if not dear on a piece because they're about I think they're about a ten a piece I think for each game. But yeah, shut up Brian, get on with the game. Uh, Angry Birds trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm not gonna lie, when it came from the dollars it's like oh god <laughs> This is the game. Oh do off you know I've put it in my Xbox it looks like it's actually it is actually pretty good, it's way better than playing it on a phone or a, basically a phone or a tablet. I'd rather actually own this on console, but don't go out and buy it like I did. Fair enough, it's cheap, not cheaper than the, obviously Apple Store, but it's cheap <laughs> than normal retail. <laughs> At least it's not £40, right? <laughs> but. You know what, if you're a big fan of Angry Birds, go and get it, because it is actually way better. It's got better like cutscenes, actually animated, and has a few extra levels and stuff like that. Plus you can get achievements, yeah, I don't care, achievement harm me all you want. But, <laughs> yeah, good game, so, whatever. Right, yeah, I'm not finished yet, so you can still have to hear my annoying voice. Oh, it's yeah, okay, neither of that, even though you reminded me. <laughs> the game that popped through my door today and it doesn't come out till the 2nd of October. You probably guess what that is, I already find out, and it is Resident Evil 6 Tin Edition. And my nephew is kind of having a fit because how much epicness is in this game. I'm recovering. So Judging by the demo, I'm going to love this game like a lot because I love the demo. Right, I actually commented the demo because. Did you? Yeah, because uh, Dragon's Dogma had the demo first, so I can actually play it. Yeah. So I told it, and then they actually released the demo on the marketplace. <laughs> but I did download it and played it that demo, so it could be different, but I did play the Atomic demo, which it was the Dragon's Dogma demo. And no, you do not actually need a, a modded, modded Xbox to play demos you can actually put them on a CD R and actually play them on any Xbox. Kind of. and yeah, 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 any Xbox. So yeah, I could have yeah. that for you and you could play it on your Xbox. I haven't actually played it. <laughs> but yeah, got the tin edition, also got three DLCs, yes, day one DLC, it's probably already on the disc. I don't care, got it for free. <laughs> 
plays normal retail for this game. It's a steel book. I notice, and it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making them jealous. It's you know what, right? It's a better steel book than Resi Five. I got Resi Five steel book for a birthday off a friend, which is really kind. But compare this to the Resi Five steel book, and this is way better. Obviously, you get the disc, and then you get another disc, which is the voiceover disc. You actually need that disc to play part of the game or something. But it's a voiceover disc or some crap like that. I don't know. Then, yeah, you get like. Oh, actually, it's not that crappy, is it? I don't know if I can get it out. <laughs> you get like <laughs> a decent size manual, I suppose, in this this gen's stance. There's also a little like advertisement for Devil May Cry, which I have no interest for because it just looks crap. And. Lost Planet 3, which should be interesting. I haven't really got the second game, so I can't really say. I thought the first game was okay. I was stuck on the first mission on first. Did you? Yeah. Really? I like, I got into the building and I just didn't know where to go then. I was like, Maybe yeah. glitch or something? Because it should, should stay where you need to go. Um, but yeah, we're going to say it's going to probably blast through this tonight. And yes. Yes, the logo does. It does still have that logo. What's the giraffe? Yes, it does look like a giraffe. A uh, maggot gi giving a giraffe a blowjob. But, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Hey! Right. I don't know, I wouldn't really say it's a woman tied up or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, last bunch of games, I might have got more, but I'm not really entirely sure because. I did get a few PS2 games, but they're like, you can't see, but they're up on the wall, which I'll probably show you sometime. But yeah, um, get your words out. This particular series in games, right, I played, well, I played one and two, they were okay. Yeah, a lot of people, it has quite a good fan base. Played the third. Well, demo of the third, I think it was, and I couldn't get into it that much. But for the price I paid for these, they're about I think they were about six, maybe between five to seven, eight quid each. So for all these games, it was worth it. So I got Yakuza Three included with the soundtrack, which is awesome. Get the soundtrack right there and obviously again. And obviously you get the for DLC but obviously I didn't get that because with my being uh, second hand so I'm not really fussed. I got the game for what I wanted so got Yakuza three or Yakuza three Yakuza four and Yakuza's Dead Souls. So all I really need is to play through these because I did play one and two and finish them. I oh, I can't even remember one and two. It's a funny thing. I know, but I, I usually remember a lot of PS2 games what I played through, but I remember playing them, but I just can't remember certain parts of the game. Probably would come with me if I. I know the game that you. Very good conversation. You, you will always remember. But yeah, what Metal Gear? Fantasy. Yeah, but Metal Gear. <laughs> so I got all of them for quite cheap, which is awesome. Can't exactly remember the price I paid for them, that's why I give you an estimate. Then I got a game that I loved, the first one on PS3. Apparently it's full of modders and stuff now, but it's still supposed to be fun. But I got this one because I played the beta back way back when it came out and it was absolutely fantastic. And finally picked it up for a cheap price, which I think it was about seven quid. So it's SOCOM Special Forces. So glad to get this. I'm gonna actually play it. Hopefully the servers are down by the time I get around to it, but yeah uh, yeah. If you wonder what that annoying clicking noise it is, my nephew on my beta. <laughs> 
Next up is a game that I've been told to get. I've been wanting to get it as well. It's supposed to be an uh, amazing racing game. It's supposed to be in a sense better than Gran Turismo and Forza apparently. Certain people would say these are judging by certain forums that I've read and stuff like that. I have actually played it, I enjoyed it. I don't like Gran Turismo 5, don't know if I've showed that in the video, but I have got Gran, Gran Turismo 5 and it, to me personally, it sucks. So, <laughs> having Ridge Racer 7, it's, yeah, this game is fantastic. Way better than Gran Turismo 5, in my opinion. You know, if you like Gran Turismo, then that's perfectly fine. You like what you like at the end of the day. That's what the gaming's all about. Playing what you enjoy. Well, people actually like this. Like what? Gran Turismo 5 a lot of people dislike it. A lot of people I know like it. <laughs> um, next up is another game that I've been meaning to get. I feel like I'm going to sneeze in a minute. This game... Uh, I, I've been meaning to get this since it was like if since it first went down in price and it's went down even further now to, I think I got this for four quid <laughs> and it's heavenly sword. I haven't actually played it, I've seen gameplay footage and it did look quite decent. A lot I've no I know a few of my mates actually told me just to stay clear of this what online wise I know a lot of people that actually have enjoyed this game so Whatever, so <laughs> I'll probably, you know, you never know. I could try a game I like it, I could try a game and absolutely despise it like a uh, two human <laughs> piece of shit game. Uh, another game that I've been meaning to get, and I've just probably showed you it anyway, um, been meaning to get hold of for a while actually, and it's quite hard to get hold of in terms of just looking for it. But it's a. Uh, well, let's see. I think my glasses are going to be weird again. Showing like the. It looks like the logo is like popping out. <laughs> but anyway, it's the God of War Collection 2. And actually, I've, I, it's quite funny because I have the American versions of both. Like God of War Collection 1, and, which is 1 and 2, and God of War Collection 2, which is both PSP versions. I actually have the American versions of both. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> And the best thing is, I'd rather have them on disc. I know we haven't got the God of War Saga over here, which is in the one box, but what I've heard, it's, well, what I've heard and seen of unboxings, it's pretty disappointing because you get two discs. One's Collection 1, obviously, then you get God of War 3, then these are basically downloadable cards, which, what, what is the point in that? <laughs> so. I'm glad to finally get this on disc. And another update by far is fixed. Woo! It's the HDC one S. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> basically it broke, apparently there was something wrong with the circuit board or something, something like that, it said in the letter. And you had to fix it basically. So hopefully it's it's fixed forever. Yeah. Other stuff, I've got like blue ears. What? Shame that was only a hopefully. Yeah, it actually said hopefully on the letter as well. Great to know they have confidence in their own customer service. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I'd love if you get sued after that. <laughs> well, let's just say it's not Apple. Come on. Well, fair <laughs> fair I actually feel like getting that Apple and just biting into it now. Just showing the apple because the apple just seemed to be on a suing spree. <laughs> I sue you, but yeah, suing spree. well, they are. I know, like, <laughs> they're suing Samsung, they sue, they're trying to sue our Polish, Polish online shopping, yeah. shopping supermarket, supermarket thing. thing. <laughs> of course, they have like a, a, a apple logo, not the actual apple just an logo. Apple logo, just like a logo as an apple basically. which is just a ball of elephant yeah which is just, yeah what he said so basically no i'm just gonna <laughs> say it, fuck apple <laughs> but yeah that's basically it 
other times what I've got, well other stuff that I've got what I've got is um, um, Blue Rays I've got Walking Dead Series 2 American Pie Predator Collection and <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> <laughs> like that and so also I got like Titanic <laughs> because well, I like the movie personally, but like something to do with something that happened in the past, so I don't really want to discuss it. But something bad happened, and you know it's a memory thing, so that's quite awesome. Um, anything else? Uh, I'm not even going to try and ask you about it because that is it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Until next time, guys, and uh, keep being awesome. Bye.